Hello. How are you today? Guess what we got? I'm so excited. Let me show you this. In the mail today, this is what we got. And I'm very excited about it. My husband's aunt got us a subscription to this and every month it's just been like the highlight of my month it's like really exciting so I'm going to show you what's in this one first in every one in every uh, box they put a card Isn't that pretty I love these cards I have a, a few of them now and I'm planning on like posting them up somewhere in a in the house so I can look at them Got some of that and this is the booklet for July 2023 that's this month monkeys I'm not a big monkey fan but those are kind of cute so all right just gonna go through I will actually be sitting down and just reading through this entire booklet later because it's really kind of interesting yeah they talk about uh, where things are made and how they're made and just a little bit of history and that's it's pretty fascinating yeah usually when I eat something I don't sit down and think about the history of it this is something that you kind of makes it special all right, let's see. Okay, I am going to butcher the names of these. It's just going to happen. Okay, um, Hino, Hikar Hino Hikari Senbei, which I believe is a cracker. There's two of them here. It's a, is it a rice cracker or a wheat cracker? Let's see. It is... A crunchy cracker shaped like the sun it is shaped like the sun it's shiny too it's got like a glaze on it so that'll be good seven flavor senbei uh, bite-sized rice crackers with seven distinct flavors Ooh, interesting smoothness of salted butter to the whimsy of colorful sugar and shrimp senbei oh Wow. Now I'm going to hold this up and I don't know which end is up. So I'll hold it sideways. This way? This way? <laughs> yeah. There's no English on it, but that's okay. That's what the booklet's for. Okay, next we have 88th Night Shin Shin Cha. It's tea. 88th Night Tea. This is the tea. And this is translating to new tea. It refers to the first harvest of green tea, meticulously plucked on the 88th day after the first day of spring. Huh. promise of good health and longevity a lucky elixir since ancient times I could use a lucky elixir I think Stefan could too I make him a cup of tea what's next that's this bit oh it's a heavy package that's this right yeah Right up there. It's a summer delicacy known for its smooth, chewy texture. This version is adorned with a rich black honey and can be joined on its own or elevated with seasonal fruits. Indulge in its refreshing allure. A perfect treat for warm days. Not quite sure how to enjoy. Remove the honey pack and place the kuzukiri noodle oh it's a noodle in a refrigerator to cool once cooled place it in a dish and pour the honey on top 
and then serve with ice cream or seasonal fruit. How about ice cream and seasonal fruit? I have never had anything like this. There, let's look again. That is going to be very new to me. Oh, I can't wait to try that. What do we have? Okay. We have two of these packages. Am I in there? Yeah. This is Chigiri Kusa Mochi. I know the word mochi. It's a sweet uh, Japanese mugwort. These bite-sized mochi pieces. Harmony of flavors. Velvety coating of black sesame. Kaneko. Kaneko. Oh, that sounds fascinating. Look at this picture. Right there. And then this is the next one that I'm about to hold up. And this is an exciting one. Look at that. That. That is a marshmallow fish. That is a marshmallow fish. Special place is a symbol of summertime. It's a marshmallow fish. Mochi and marshmallow fish. And honey noodles. Um, and there's more. And there's more. Anko Donuts Perfected. Oh, it's a whole thing on, on how they make the these donuts. Which donuts? Those donuts. Sesame Anko Donuts. It's those donuts. I do like me some donuts. And those look really... Ooh, they're real... Pretty tender, too. A little bit glossy, like they might have a glaze on them. Let's see. Fluffy donuts feature sesame-filled sweet bean paste. Sesame sweet bean paste. I love, I love that. Bean paste is like the bomb. Has a unique nutty flavor. I am a bean paste junkie. No, in, um... In Kung Fu Panda, when he keeps going for the um, the different kinds of dumplings, it's always after. The, oh, those are bean paste dumplings. They are good. I've made them before. I should try it again. Okay, where where am I? Here. Nico Nico Rusk. Crispy and light texture. This sweet rusk. Oh, this is the one that has the picture of the monkeys on it. See? It's got the monkeys right there. It's carefully baked. It looks like a toast, but it's sweet. Here, let me show you a picture. This is it right there. So, it's almost kind of like a, a shortbread cookie. That's what it looks like. Or it sounds like. I can't wait to try it to see if I'm right. What are we next? Oh, Skyberry Waffle Cookie. Oh, yeah. Waffle Cookies. Uh, Skyberry Strawberries. Strawberries. And then across Japan for exceptional quality and exquisite flavor. Delightful scent and essence when used in this crispy cookie. Uh, that's going to be good. That's going to be one of those, one of the, those nibble things. Okay. Where am I? Here. Sesame Tetra? That's what this looks like. Let's see. A single sesame seed is delicately coated 
with batter and adorned with an outer layer of sesame seeds. Huh. There's two of the, these in there, two of these little packets. That looks like fun. Fun things to try. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay, Thousand Samurai Procession Manju. That's you? Yes, it has the samurai on it. See the samurai? It's soft. This is uh, milky white bean paste, yes. Within dough, it's a mochi, isn't it? It's a dumpling. Adorned with its namesake on the packages. Oh, that looks neat. Here's the picture. Right there. I'm trying to keep off the glare from my uh, screen there. Now, there's only one of those. So... Stefan will never know. Shh. What's next? I see we have a couple things. Yeah, two things left here. Three things. Salt and pepper Yuba chips. That's this. Different chips. It's made from the thin film that forms on the surface of heated soy milk. Really? This thin film is carefully harvested and dried, resulting in thin sheets of yuba. Nico is known for this velvety smooth delicacy. They have a rich flavor with salt and pepper. Oh, that's neat. I've never tried that. New thing, new thing to try. Soy sauce. Okogameshi. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Okay. Traditionally, rice was cooked in heavy iron parts, pots called kettle, kama or kettles over an open flame. Okay. Rice simmer, butter, rice. Okay. So the bottom of these kettles, the rice would toast and develop a deliciously crispy and. Oh. Like with my rice cooker, the rice that gets stuck around the edges in the bottom, like that's that's the best. It is. It's just crispy rice. It's so good. So that's what pretty much what that is turned into a, a crunchy treat. Okay. Oh, you can see it right through. I was going to hold up the thing. It's so shiny. It's actually shinier than the picture shows. It's upside down. It's okay. That is definitely something I want to munch on. Good thing there's two of them. Okay, and the last thing is a patchwork furoshiki. Traditional Japanese wrapping cloth carries a rich his history that dates back centuries. Initially utilized in temples to wrap and transport sacred objects. This vers versatile wrapping cloth doubles as a handkerchief, bandana, or bento box wrap. Machine washable and dryable. And they show you how to wrap and tie it. Let's look at that. These are my colors. This is my color. I love green. Green is my color. Oops, where's the plastic? Oh yeah. Patchwork green. See, I look, I look good in green. I like green. This is nice. So either one of two things are going to happen with this. Either I'm going to use it until I wear it out, just use it constantly for different things. Or I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to save this for something special and I'll tuck it away in a special place and I'll either A, forget where I put it and can't find it to save my life. 
or B, nothing will ever be special enough. And I have a couple of things. I'm trying not to do that. I'm trying to, you know, use the good crystal, even just for my ginger ale, you know, use the things that I have around so it's used. I don't like having things that are untouchable. You know, it seems like a waste of space, dust catchers. So I'm planning to use this as much as possible. I do not want it to become a dust catcher. I don't want it to waste away. I just have to remember not to put it somewhere special so I forget where I put it. So I'm going to start snacking here. Um, if you do know anybody who likes to try new things, this is all from Japan. This is Japan box. Um, this is like the way to go. You know, I know a lot of people who would love something like this. So I just, having been the recipient of this and having tried, what, we had three, three boxes before this or four? Three. Three boxes before this. I can say that it is definitely appreciated, enjoyed. And it's, it's really, really nice to, it's nice to have an experience that I haven't had before. And especially without having to like, you know, actually travel to Japan. Because, you know, I live in a small town, in a small county. I'm not gonna find anything like this. So this is really, really a big deal for me. But here it is again. I know you can find it online, and I, I'm going to go snack. Don't tell Mrs. Mojo. She doesn't need any of this. Have a good night.